Welcome back everyone to the AI podcast on Talk Parlor and Future of Innovation. We've got another deep dive ready. Yeah, ready to go. This time we're tackling some pretty huge questions about the future of AI development. Yeah. We've got these three figures, super influential in the tech world, mm -hmm. and they've all got these really distinct views on how we should be approaching AI. Like what's the right balance between pushing the limits of what's possible, right. but also like, you know, not accidentally ending up in a sci-fi apocalypse. Yeah, the stakes are pretty high with this one. Absolutely. Okay. So we're gonna break down where each of these guys stands. Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, and Sam Oldman. Great lineup. Yep. Kicking things off with Elon Musk. He's uh, not exactly known for holding back, is he? when it comes to his yeah. worries about AI. No, definitely not. Like he's been pretty vocal, right? Yeah. About this whole idea of artificial general intelligence, AGI. Right, AGI. So that's basically when AI gets to a point where it can do any intellectual task that a human can. Okay, so like way beyond just beating us at chess. Exactly. And Musk is really concerned that this could be like a straight up existential threat. He even talks about, you know, scenarios where AI becomes so powerful, it could actually wipe out humanity. I mean, that's straight out of a Terminator movie, right? It does sound a little dramatic. Yeah. But I mean, this is Elon Musk. So is he just being provocative or is there something to these warnings? I think there's a lot of value in taking his perspective seriously, even if it sounds extreme, because it forces us to like really think long term. Mm -hmm about the consequences of creating something that could be smarter than us. Yeah. I mean, he's pushing for really strict regulation, right? Like proactive stuff to make sure we don't accidentally create a future where AI is in control. Okay, so he's basically saying we need to like set up the guardrails now before it's too late. Exactly. But doesn't that risk like slowing down progress? It's definitely a trade-off. I mean, people argue that too much regulation could stifle innovation, right? Like, what if we overregulate and then we can't use AI to solve, you know, climate change or cure diseases? That's a really important point. And this is where someone like Mark Zuckerberg comes in with a totally different perspective. He's, well, he's pretty much the opposite of Musk when it comes to AI. Yeah, Zuckerberg seems uh, way more optimistic about AI, right? Mm -hmm. What's he seeing that Musk isn't? So Zuckerberg is super focused on AI's potential to solve real world problems, right? He sees it revolutionizing healthcare, personalizing education, even helping us tackle climate change. Okay, so he's thinking about all the good that AI could do. Yeah, like he sees a future where AI benefits humanity in a ton of ways. But I mean, is he just downplaying the risks that Musk is so worried about? That's a criticism you hear a lot, right? Like, huh? is he so focused on the good stuff that he's missing the potential dangers? Could a lack of focus on regulation lead to, you know, even with good intention, unintended consequences? Right, because even if we're trying to do good things with AI, things could still go wrong. Exactly. So we've got these two extremes, right? Musk saying we need to be super careful. Zuckerberg basically saying full speed ahead. Yeah, it almost feels like we need uh, like a middle ground here, right? Yeah. Someone who sees both the potential and the risks. Right. And well, that kind of brings us to Sam Altman. Right. So Altman, he's the CEO of OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT. So he's got a really interesting perspective. Yeah, he's kind of at the forefront of all this. Exactly. And he's often seen as this like voice of reason in the whole AI debate. He's not on Team Musk or Team Zuckerberg. So where does he land? He's more like, Team, let's find a balance. Like he acknowledges how powerful AI is and he supports its development, but he also really emphasizes the need for, you know, thoughtful regulation oh. and strong ethical frameworks. So not a full stop, but right. making sure we're moving forward carefully. Okay, I like that. So what does that actually look like in practice? One of the big things Altman talks about is collaboration. He thinks that governments, researchers, companies all need to be working together, right? Mm. To make sure that AI is being developed safely and in a way that benefits everybody. It's almost like this like global effort to steer AI in the right direction. That sounds great in theory, but is that even realistic? I mean, getting everyone to agree on something this complex. Yeah, it's definitely a huge challenge. Like, you know, can countries with different agendas actually come together on this? Is Altman being too idealistic? Right, those are big questions. Yeah, big questions, but important ones to ask. So we've got these three figures with these really distinct views on AI's future. Musk saying, be cautious, Zuckerberg saying push for progress, and Altman saying let's find a balance. 
It's a lot. It's a lot to consider. And what makes this whole conversation so important is that each of these perspectives brings something crucial to the table. Like Musk reminds us that safety is paramount. Zuckerberg highlights all the ways AI can do good. And Altman gives us this roadmap for a responsible development. So it's not really about picking sides, but more about understanding all these different angles. Exactly. It feels like AI is at this crossroads and the decisions we make now are gonna have like huge consequences down the line. Absolutely. So we wanna throw this question out to you, the listener. Where do you stand on all this? Are you leaning towards caution, optimism, or somewhere in between? Because these aren't just theoretical debates, right? Yeah. This is stuff that will impact everyone. Yeah, exactly. Understanding these different viewpoints, that's like step one in figuring out what the future of AI is gonna look like. And we've only scratched the surface today. There's so much more to dive into when it comes to AI, ethics, regulation, and the potential of AGI. Right, and that's why we encourage you to keep learning, keep questioning, and keep thinking about what kind of future you wanna see with AI because you're a part of this too. Yeah, definitely. And we'll be back with more deep dives into the world of AI, so stay tuned. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.